the history between these two teams as uh, we get to see the initial face-off here. And it looks like we'll get things started here at the top of the first quarter of play. So get that clock going, and Virginia and Towson will match off here in this one. Pressure early on from Towson right off the face-off. I think that the storyline of this game is going to be the eighth-ranked Virginia offense against, you know, the third-ranked scoring defense in Towson. So some heavyweights down on this end of the field. And, you know, when you, Marcus, are, you know, at the start of a game, you know, obviously you have a ton of uh, experience on the field. What's sort of in your head, what's the mentality in the first couple of minutes of a game like this uh, when you get things started? Yeah, offensively, you want you want to share the ball, right? You want to get guys a lot of touches. You know, you, I, I like to think about that three-second rule, right? In and out of your stick, um, you know, get the ball around the horn, get guys involved. Uh, and you can see there, Virginia was able to, to get a good look inside. Towson blocked it and successful clear for the Tigers. So good start for that defense. So now the Tigers will attempt uh, to go on the attack on the opposite end of the field. Still a 0-0 game, first minute and change. Uh, have passed here in the first quarter. Yeah, and, and for Towson, it's, I mentioned, right, in their wins, they've shot the ball at 40%, which is incredible. And in their two losses, they've been at 18%. So, you know, it's not as simple as just shooting the ball, but in some cases, you know, lacrosse, you've got to put the ball past the goalie. So if they can have a high shooting percentage today, obviously that, I think that increases their chances of, of being successful and, and having a win. And that shot coming out from X was wide. So Towson uh, trying to put on the pressure here early, 13-20 to go in quarter number one. Yeah, and Towson's offense led by their graduate senior, Nick DeMeo, coming in with 16 goals, 15 assists. And there's a big shot from the top that's also going to miss and go towards the back. Now we get a charge out from X, a spin and a toss towards the net. That's another miss or... And it looks like uh, Towson will uh, try again here. 12.55 to go. Yep, and Towson is, is very much okay to play at this kind of deliberate pace, mixing in some inverts. I think, you know, slowing the game down favors them. If they can take these longer possessions and capitalize when they get their opportunities, you don't want to get in a track meet with a, with a team like Virginia. <laughs> And here's a pass towards the front and a short shot that looks like it made its way through. First goal of the day for Towson as they put one on the board and they get things started here. It's one to nothing. And that's been their one-two punch all season long. It's been DeMeo and it's been Mikey Weissauer, uh, the sophomore from Maryland, is able to cut through here. I like that DeMeo's been a little bit more aggressive this season, right? Traditionally kind of a, a lefty shooter. Uh, this year, you can see he adds his 16th assist to go along with 16 goals. So super balanced production from, you know, their graduate senior attackman. You know, and those were the two guys that uh, really came up big in their win over UMBC the other day, right? I mean, it was Weissauer with five goals, DeMeo with four of his own. So nine of the 17 that they scored just came from those two guys. And they've really been at the forefront of the attack this year. Yeah, no doubt. Just dynamic players. You know, I coached against Mikey Weissauer a couple of years ago in the MIAA conference here in, in Maryland, and he was as dynamic as any midfielder I've, I've ever seen. So it's no surprise that he's having success at the, at the college level. So now Towson with it once more, and they'll try to extend their one to nothing lead here under 12 minutes to go in the first quarter of play. Yeah, and a, and a rare failed clear by Virginia. Coming into this game, the number one clearing team in the country Kind of part of their DNA is, is winning that middle of the field and, and clearing and ride backs and, you know, a rare mistake there. I think the clock ran out or they might have been offside. So Towson, a chance to kind of capitalize on this momentum early. A pass over the middle and then that short shot. Looks like another one made its way through. The second goal of the day as Towson gets right back on the board and they extend their lead. It's three nothing. Bodie Moore with the back pipe. Ali Youp. It's Alex Russell. So he see again Towson going back to this invert. Great cut on the back pipe there. And those Alley Youp finishes are super fun. 
really tough for the goalie to turn pipe to pipe and, and make that save. You can see Matt Noon struggling in the cage to get there, but not a lot of hope if you're going to allow those doorstep shots. And yeah, that. yeah, that's got to be really tough to defend, right? I mean, he made that spin stop towards the one side of the net and then came across and then the pass back to that side. So, I mean, and the misdirection really helping him out there. Yep. So 11.15 on the clock here, a 2-0 game as Towson has gotten out to an early lead here at home and they will try and protect here as you've got to streak down the far side and now go whip it around the perimeter. Still passing and trying to find an open man. 2-0 is the score, 10.50 to go. And Towson trying to put another one up. That would put them up 3-0 if they can score on this possession. There's a shot that misses wide and will roll into the corner. Yeah, nice job sharing the rock, testing matchups, right? You're kind of feeling out how Virginia is going to play some pick play. It looks like Virginia's being aggressive on those picks, you know, jumping out and switching. So if Towson could get switches onto some of those attack men, they can take advantage of those matchups and had their attackman dodge against short sticks. And, you know, I'm, I'm sure another thing that's going to be a part of Towson's uh, game here today, and, and especially the game plan as well, you know, you mentioned how they were able to take advantage of that uh, non-clear by Virginia, as here we get some tough defense and a scramble for the ball in the X. <laughs> yeah, the, Virginia finally putting their foot in the ground and taking somebody out on that inside roll. Great hit, successful clear for Virginia. And do you want to see, do you like to see that physicality from Virginia, especially going down 2 nothing early? You think that's something they should emphasize going forward? Yeah, I mean, that, again, you know, it's that's part of who they are with their size on that end of the field. You've got Kastner, Fulton, just monsters coming off the bus. So, wow, nice hustle from Houston there to back that up. Yeah, they get all the way back there after that shot must be wide. So with nine and a half to go here in the first quarter of play, still a 2-0 lead for Towson. As they'll look to get it across midfield. And a more tough contact on the other side. No flag. No flag as Virginia will take possession. Yeah, I'd like to see Virginia just settle in here, sub their guys on, run some offense, right? You're, you're approaching almost halfway through the first quarter and you really haven't run you know your offense to completion so share the rock let's get let's get the best player potentially in the country involved and that's number one Connor Schellenberger Virginia loves these high wing picks racing down now towards the middle and then the, uh, the pass back out Virginia is still trying to find a way in 840 on the clock here in the first quarter your side a spin now a toss towards the net, and a goal. So Virginia gets on the board, they strike back. That's their first of the day. And that's going to the lead in half, it's two to one. Yeah, this is Griffin Schutz, just a monster at the midfield position. It's such a hard, hard matchup for any defense to cover. With his size, his physicality, his ability to shoot on the run. You know, nothing fancy about what he does. It's it's a little bit of bully ball and a nice finish there for 26. So Virginia gets on the board as it's now a two to one game with eight and a half to go. Yeah, it's funny, just the, the talent that Virginia possesses, you know, a guy like Griffin Schutz, I think at, you know, 99% of other division one schools would be, you know, the number one guy and in this offense, he's almost like a complimentary player, which is yeah. crazy, but so skilled and so talented. As you see Cormier with a great take there. And then that one skips through, and that's going to tie the game. So a, a vicious attack. It was unrelenting, and finally Virginia able to put one through. And tie things up at the piece. Yeah, you really can't blink. You're when you're playing against this offense. They can just attack from all angles. Cormier being aggressive with a short stick. You like to see that. And then Schellenberger with the ground ball. And he's like, hey, I'll throw it back to my guy that's scored more goals than anyone in Virginia lacrosse in history. That guy right there. So now 
with the faceoff. It'll be Towson trying to take control. As that one skips away. And, and in a tie game now, they're going to have to try and get back on the board and, and start to keep that momentum because, you know, you're at home, you get out to an early lead. The last thing you want to do is, is lose that almost right away and sort of allow Virginia to come back on top here. Yeah, and, and you know, let's face it, I think for, if you're – a Towson fan or a member of this team, you know this is going to have to be yeah. a 60-minute 60, 60 max effort game, and you're going to have to play, I don't want to say perfect, but excellent to beat a team like Virginia in this offense. Oh, no. <laughs> Establish the lead here in this game at home. I really like that. We call that like a zing look. You pass the ball through X and you're going to throw it back Reno, from the, the same off. side that it came from. Really nice cut there and finish for Towson. So that puts the Tigers up 3 2 as they take a one goal lead here with about seven and a half to go in quarter number one. And they'll get right back on offense and try and extend that lead. So that's sort of got to be the plan, right? Is just to stay in front as long as you can and uh, not let Virginia not only tie it up, with, which they just did, but come out in front like that. So, you know, Towson is just going to have to try and extend here. Yeah, and, and, you know, again, kind of winning the possession battle, right? Taking long possessions, capitalizing when you can, you know, not giving Virginia opportunities to score and transition like we potentially have here because they will absolutely execute. And Virginia racing forward, trying to take advantage here after that misplay. Classic announcer jinx. <laughs> and yeah, right, as, as soon as that'll happen. And, um, but luckily for them, Towson able to come away with it here and bring it across themselves. So they don't get burned on that pass that went wide. Yeah, and, and again, able to just kind of, you know, Weather the storm there, slow it down. Now you can get back and run your offense. That's been pretty successful so far. Once once things get flowing for this Towson offense, they're grooving. Streaking down the far side now, trying to get around the edge and get into the X he goes. Trying to get close to the net. A pass out in front. The slingshot from the top of that Weishauer with a phenomenal handle up top. And then he's able to just paint this bottom right corner. I like Towson going back to the inverse. Seems like they're having success there. Great handle. Sets his feet. Fires from 12. He's fired up. That, that pass in a good spot. He was able to extend, grab it out of the air, and then almost in one motion, sling it right back towards the net to score the fourth goal of the day for the Towson Tigers. So they're up 4-2. It's a two-goal lead for them here at home, and there's about six minutes to go here in quarter number one. Yeah, number zero to number one there. Zero to one for Towson. Just Alex Rattel <laughs> on the B. I like the way, again, he's dodging behind, and in the invert scenarios, a lot of, a lot of times, you're not really dodging to score because a lot of teams are, are slide happy. So you're dodging to be a feeder, and he did a really nice job finding that skip lane. Towson trying to extend even further here. Four to two score. They're out in front by two. A spin on the near side, falling down. He's trying to get the ball away. They do. That shot is wide. DeMeo is definitely not afraid to let it rip having a really, really nice season shooting the ball. That's maybe been one of his flaws in the past is, is his shooting percentage. And this coming into this game this season, shooting at 50%. So if you can keep that up for Towson, that's a great sign. Nice finish. Great finish. Great finish. So that's going to make Towson come up with a three-goal lead, Marcus, five to two now. Yeah, and these are the types of goals that, again, you're going to have to have against a you know, top-ranked opponent is some of these ugly goals, picking up a ground ball, tiptoeing the crease, 
and staying out of that goal now. Number 33, Austin Common. China, Virginia. A really nice job there. Finishing the is a local matchup, probably about a three and a half hour drive for Virginia. Um, but, you know, I, I, I'm not sure the players are aware of that. I don't know if they read the game notes and know the history of the rivalry, but all I know is that Towson's fired up. They're playing tough and competitive. And, you know, these guys aren't going to back down from, from anybody um, here in their home stadium. Yeah, I'm sure it, it, there's no care for, for the history between the two. It's all about, uh, you know, what's going on in the field now uh, with these guys. And they certainly are bringing it so far here early in this one. I mean, able to take advantage of a couple of uh, uh, mistakes uh, on Virginia's end. And then, uh, like you said, sort of the, the gritty nature of the team that's ingrained uh, for them with head coach Sean Madelin and, and the gritty type of goal that they were able to score yeah. there to make it 5-2. Yeah, that's Towson lacrosse, right? It's it's not always going to be pretty, but you know, it's they have a formula, they have a culture, they get tough players. A lot of them coming from this Maryland area, some public school guys that you know maybe are underlooked and, and not five star players, but they certainly know how to play and they buy into that team culture. So Virginia trying to bite back here, down by three. There's an attempt close, but good defense again by Towson. 5-2 score. They're out in front by three goals. Passing around the outside. Now move to get towards the middle. And a drive. Now into the X. Schellenberger hung up here. Let's see. The work to hit a cutter. Maybe he isos. Yep. Gets inside. Puts one close. And it's stopped. Or no, he got it through. That's a score as Connor Schellenberger knocks one in. That's his first goal of the day, and it's 5-3. Schellenberger with, with the clear out here. This is kind of the heavyweight matchup that we wanted to see. You've got maybe the best attackman in the country against one of the best close defensemen and long poles in the country, and number 23, Colby Bars. He was the CAA Defensive Player of the Year coming into this season, you know, preseason rank, so... Love to see a nice heavyweight matchup like that. And Schellenberger, you know, wins the, the first round there. Yeah, heavyweight is a good way to describe it. I mean, that was a powerful overhand shot that uh, he put in right in front of the net. And that'll be his first goal of the day as we get the face off here at midfield. Virginia's got it again. Maybe they'll try and put another quick one on. Down by two, three and a half to go in quarter number one. There's another shot towards the net, but it's wide. I like Cormier's aggressiveness so far when he has the ball in his stick, right? You know, traditionally a Canadian shooter loves shooting with his feet set, but you know, he's he's dynamic when he has the ball in his stick and the ability to kind of, you know, be crafty and score around the cage. So I like the way he's moving. Obviously you can see his teammates love feeding him the ball. And he's been super active today. He's taken five shots already. So now Towson will take control of it and try and extend their lead up by two here. About 2.45 to go and a long pass forward all the way downfield and to get into the zone. And as they look to extend, two and a half left in quarter number one. And, you know, he just saw Schellenberger uh, make that goal back there. I mean, he's someone to watch. He's just seven si assists away uh, from breaking the program record at Virginia of 159 career assists. That number goes to Tim Whiteley. And uh, if Schellenberger picks up seven assists in this game, he would pass him for the all-time leader in the program. It, it, it wouldn't shock me. He's, I just, I, I think Connor's just such a great playmaker. Goal scoring, feeding, ground balls. Just a tremendous lacrosse player before any type of attackman as we see a nice tough ground ball by Virginia. Things got busy out in front of the net and then Virginia able to come away with it and get downfield. Now a shot that goes towards the net and it looks like it went through. Virginia puts another one up on the board and they narrow the deficit to just one. It's five to four now. And there's that vaunted D to O. Transition style offense for Virginia. 
Definitely wasn't pretty there as we were looking for a feed to the crease. But the ball trickles through and then, you know, smart players are in the right spots. And it, it looked like an accident. And obviously, you know, it, it wasn't meant to go to McCade Millen, but talk about a kid who, who knows where to be and absolutely has a, a really, really high lacrosse IQ. So not a shock that he's in the right spot. He's able to scoop that ground ball up and bury it. Yeah, that's Mellon's first goal of the day. It's his 16th of the year. And now we've got a high velocity shot from the top that didn't go. Fighting for it now, and it's picked up by Virginia. Man knocked down. Again. And on again. the transition again. Can they complete and finish on this one? Trying to tie it up. The powerful shot. And he leaped through the back of the net. We're all and tied here, up at five. And Virginia, Virginia strikes again here with 124 to go. Five, five. Number 44. Ben Weyer is off to just an incredible start to this season. 22 ground balls for this Virginia team. That leads the team by far. And here you see he's able to just come right down Charles Street, finish with authority. Obviously, Towson doesn't want to slide up field off of Peyton Cormier. So Weyer is able to bury the rock. And again, those are those juice goals, right? Three straight goals now for Virginia. Last one was a pole goal in transition. Let's see if they can keep kind of running with this, this juice that they have. Yeah, they start with possession once again here in the final about a minute and 10 to go in the first quarter of play. And, you know, they did sort of, they've been scoring in bunches a little bit, right? They were able to tie it up at two apiece earlier. And then with Towson sort of separating a bit, now they've uh, gone back and tied it up again here at five apiece with the final minute to go in quarter number one. Yeah, and I, I think what makes uh, Virginia so challenging is is five goals, five different goal scorers, right? You've got yeah. Cormier, Schellenberger, Millen, the, the knowns, the three-headed monster. You know they're all going to score, but then you got Schutz adding a tough goal and then Weyer in transition. Now they have a chance to win this end-of-quarter momentum situation as their offense gets cruising here. About half a minute to go in quarter number one. Passing to the far side. Tied up at five with 25 seconds left. And they're going to take their time here and try and hold for a final shot towards the end. Yep, usually want to initiate around 20 seconds. You'll see the big little pick here for Schellenberger. Coming around the edge. Pass over the middle, trying to get it through, and they do. Virginia comes all the way back, and now they're out in front. It's six to five with 10 seconds to go in the first quarter. Yep, and I think that was number three, Truett Sunderland, the local product out of Coward Hall. Right, again, not how you drew it up for Virginia. I think Schellenberger tries to feed Cormier there, and the ball trickles out. And again, they don't ask how, they ask how many, <laughs> right? And it's, it's Sunderland with the ground ball and the goal. And again, now we have six goals and six different goal scorers for Virginia. And it's gonna be those goals that sort of make the difference, right? The ones that you can scrape together that we've seen a little bit on, from either side today. As yeah. these final 10 seconds will start to tick down here at the end of quarter number one. A long pass towards the net. Did they get one? It looks like they did. Oh, wow, in the final seconds of quarter number one, that ball found the back of the net as Towson ties it up six apiece. Yeah, the, the rope unit getting it done for Towson. Reese Potter on the feed. And Matt Constantinides taking a hit. Getting jacked up, right? Going over to the sideline like, what's good? We are in this, fellas. What an awesome, awesome start to this game. An electric first quarter here in Baltimore. And that is the perfect way to head into the quarter break. Time and you're still after the first quarter. quarter. You're tied to six, they're six. By one. And they're able to tie it back up at six, get pumped up heading into the break, and we'll take a break. We'll be back for the second quarter. And now it's time. And we're back for quarter number two here on Lacrosse TV as the four and two Towson Tigers host the four and one Virginia Cavaliers, John Kosaban alongside Marcus Holman, and we're all tied up heading into the second quarter of play. Quarter number one was uh, really on fire between the two, and uh, last second tie to make it six apiece has got us excited for this second quarter of play. <laughs> Absolutely. Playmaking all over the field, right? We had some transition goals. We had some really nice cutting goals and finishes, and we're fired up for the second quarter here as we resume action. 
You know, and it, it's got to be a really important for Towson as a, they pick up this ground ball here and we'll move on the offensive, a slingshot towards the net. It uh, does not go as it missed wide and it'll remain tied at six. Uh, but it should be important for them to sort of look to build on the momentum at the end of that first quarter because it, it could have gone completely in the opposite direction with the way that Virginia was able to take the lead late. But Towson wasted no time and got fired up for that last second goal to go in with the tie. Absolutely. Good look here. Ooh. Big shot from the top goes straight through. And Towson gets right back out in front, 7-6. to six. Mikey Weissauer once again with the goal. I'm telling you, this kid is going to be a household name by the time his career is, is done. He's an absolute stud. Three goals now. Right, this one a lefty step down. We saw him take a righty step down earlier. He has game. He can do it all. Dodge, feed, and you can see there he's lethal with his feet set. So another quick goal here as Towson gets out back in front. That makes it seven to six. So they're up by one. Fourteen and a half to go here in quarter number two as we're just getting started. And tough defense to knock that one away as Virginia keeps possession. Down by one now. Running out from the corner. Cutting the pass forward out in front. And we're good. Looks like we're going to have a flag down. I think we got a 30 second technical for a push. We'll see the first power play unit today for Virginia. Who come at a, at a good time for them and try and take advantage here and maybe tie it up on the possession. Yeah, this is definitely not. Just five man rules on the season. But man up takes time over the course of a season to click, and this unit certainly has the skill to be able to score. And these are definitely the type of games where you can develop that as they get a quick goal right off the rip. And that's going to tie things up once again. 7-7. Seven, seven. Uh, Just like that. They wasted no time. <laughs> Shell and on the pipe. Right? Man -up up units. You want to move your feet. You want to move the ball quickly. Shell and Berger with the vaunted dip and dunk. Fakes high. Drops his shoulders and body low. And then he's able to just kind of float it over the top of the downs. Really nice finish there from number one. So after after the Spagnoli penalty, Schellenberger able to cash in his 13th goal. Jack Boyden with the assist, his ninth of the year. And Virginia will get back out on offense and try and extend the lead or get out in front. Look out. At the top, a sidearm shot to wide. Do you like that look uh, up top, Marcus, the way he just took? <laughs> a little a little bit of a, maybe a heat check from Mayer, right? He put one in, scored earlier today. Um, you know, why not? Step in, let it rip. Again, I think, you know, watching this Virginia team, I think they, the coaching staff allows for that creativity, that flexibility, right? They know they have skilled players at that position. So why not let them take a couple rips as we see a thousand player being helped off here? So we'll have a man off for uh, for the injury. Hopefully he's okay. Tied up at seven apiece here with 13.33 to go in quarter number two. Number 37, Elijah Smith. Hopefully just a minor, minor injury there. Yeah, it looked good walking off the field, so perhaps we'll see him uh, sooner rather than later. Virginia resuming with their possession, tied up at seven, looking for goal number eight of the day. 13 18 to go in quarter number two. From X, the whip around, and that missed high. That's Millen, the freshman, number one recruit in the country. He's wasted no time in his college career lighting up the stat sheet. Really nice dodge there, but fires it just a little too high. 
under 13 minutes to go now in quarter number two. And, and it's got to be really exciting, right? You got a, a guy with as much hype as he had. Here's a big shot that misses. As much hype as Millen had coming in, like you say, the number one recruit. Um, and then starting his career pretty much exactly as you would have wanted to draw it up. I mean, that's about as exciting as you can get. Nice save from Downs there as Towson gets a stop. But yeah, I mean, that you know, those rankings and that hype doesn't come unwarranted. He's, he's a hard worker, obviously. <laughs> Comes from a, a bloodline of tremendous lacrosse players. His dad, Mark Millen, one of the best attackmen of all time, honestly. And, uh, you know, McCabe's super smart, athletic, skilled. He's got all the tools needed to be a great, great college and potentially a, a professional lacrosse player down the road. So 12-10 on the clock here in quarter number two. Virginia is taking their time, trying to control the pace here as they look to get out in front. Tied up at seven apiece. Virginia Towson, 7-7, seven, seven, under 12 minutes to go. Here's a rush from the corner. And now coming all the way around, they'll make some passes. Millen's got it. Gets past the defender. Shot up close. And he scored. Right on cue, Virginia McCabe Miller Millen McCabe fires one through to the back of the net. Millen and Sunderland working the two-man game on this high wing. You know, again, Sunderland was, you know, a, the, one of the best attackmen in the Baltimore area playing at Calvert Hall. He goes to Virginia, and now he's he's running out of the box being a midfielder. And he doesn't really and set a great hit there, the but he's moving off ball, sharing the rock, and then Millen does the dirty work. Right, dodging hard to that pipe, putting his stick back to his right hand to the middle of the field, and he's able to bury. It's always fun to see guys, you know, put their shoulder down, and just bum rush their way past the defender like that, like he did, and he's able to get himself in close for the shot. Yeah, you, you got to be a tough dodger if you want to play big time Division One lacrosse. Right, you can't let a, a small cross check throw you off your line. You got to lean in and. And own your own your path to the goal is a, is a way that I was taught, and I think that's what tough dodgers do. And you saw that right there from the Cape. That's what Millen has done time and time again this year. He's got 17 now on the campaign, and it looks like we're going to take a timeout from this 8-7 score, Virginia in front. Back out of the timeout here in quarter number two. Eight to seven game. Uh, both Virginia and Towson have 17 shots on the day. Both teams also with 11 of them on goal. So, you know, where opportunities are concerned, things have been pretty even. That's been reflected on the score. Eight seven, just one goal separates the two teams. Yeah, man. Kind of a tough start here for, for both goalkeepers coming in. Luke Downs, eighth in the country, 58% uh, percent save percentage. And, Matt Noon's on the other end, right? A championship winning goalie, 15th in the country. Off to a little bit of a slow start. So Noon's is at 36%, Downs only at 27%. So we'll see if the goalies can get moving here. Again, lacrosse is more nuanced than just a, a shooter versus a goalie, but those guys are the last line of defense and they make the difference in, in big, highly competitive games like this. Yeah, you know, especially in a close game, which it has been so far. Now, a big save here or there could make all the difference. So now it's Towson trying to uh, match up the score here, down by one at home, final 11 minutes of the first half. Gets past his man, fires his shot, falling down, and a save. Oh, this one shoot. is picked off, and now trying again, Towson, to pick it up. And they're not able to as Virginia comes away with it. Oh, a close one there, Marcus. Yeah, great effort on the ride. I would have liked to see 13 chop Gallagher, maybe let that one rip instead of trying to jam the crease. And here comes Virginia again. Woo! Big shot, bottom left corner, and he gets it through. Virginia, 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 Virginia once again out on top with the score, and it's 9-7. Talk about about knowing Tiger guys' Tiger. names. Ben Weyer at the LSM position. The vaunted position for Virginia, right? You think about greats like Jared Connors. Right, even going back to, you know, back in my day, Ken Clawson, guys that were just 
dominant, huge physical Gabriel forces. And the face you see Mayer there is no stranger to the offensive end. He's able to catch and hammer that, give Schellenberger the assist. It's his third goal of the season, and you're right there. Another assist for Schellenberger as it's 9-7. to seven. Virginia out in front by two. And with about 10-15 to go here in the first half. So now they have possession once again and will attempt to put some cushion on that lead. And I guess we're officially on Connor Schellenberger assist history watch now. Just needs five more to break the all-time Virginia record by Tim Whiteley. It's going to be tough to get in this game, but I'm not putting it past him. And yeah, I'd, I'd say it's possible he had six assists the last time these two teams matched up. Uh, so, you know, it, it just needs to improve on that number by one this year if he wants uh, to get the record here today. Towson breaking through. Big possession here for Towson. Right, they got a, a nice quality opportunity on the last one, and Nunes was able to step up to the task, kind of make that stick side high save. So, um, their offense has been clicking. They've been getting good opportunities. We'll see if they can cash one in. Now a rush on the far side. Trying to set something up up close. Man oh, down, ran to a bunch of blue jerseys. And they get really physical near the net as Virginia will come away with it. I wonder if this flag could potentially be on Matt Noons, the goalie. I think he's starting to head towards the box. You see him jump out of the crease here. <laughs> Oh my goodness. I love the physicality, right? That's what makes lacrosse special. Obviously, you want to keep those hits down below the head. Lacrosse is a contact sport, right? We wear equipment, we wear pads, and you'll see Nunes in the box for that high hit. He's been watching some Adam Gittleman film. Long more of great Virginia goalies aggressive outside the crease. So they'll be without their number one goalkeeper for a spell as we enter the uh, final nine minutes here of the first half. An opportunity for Towson down by two to try and bite into that lead. Here's a pass over the middle, the shot fought away. And pulled away. <laughs> it's, it's Kyle Morris, there the backup is. goalie. I coached Kyle for a couple years at the Gilman School. My alma mater, awesome kid. <laughs> really glad to see him hop in the cage and make a big save here. Oh, he might have to make another one now, though. Stepped in immediately and then answered the call, but now here he might have to face another shot. 9-7 is the score. Towson down by two. The pass towards the center. Back up close with the left, and it goes in. Much to the goal from Towson. Weishauer with his fourth. Towson doing a really nice job in the middle of the field, just getting ride backs. Obviously, scramble situation there. I just don't think Virginia was able to match up appropriately. Of course, I put the announcer jinx on Kyle Morris, which is goalie. Makes one big save, but not able to make a save there. Honestly, no one's really been saving Weishauer's shots today as he nets his fourth. So 9-8 is the score. Virginia out in front by one. And four, you know, four for four on the day for Weishauer. So very efficient so far in this one. You got to keep feeding him the rock. You know, you, you might have jinxed Morris there, but you, you do have the personal experience with him. What what stands out to you about his game back in that in that? Yeah, Kyle's great. He's he's just competitive. There's not a lot of wasted movements, and he just loves lacrosse. He he loves. The team aspect of it. he's a great teammate and again i'm sure he would like to be the, the starting keep for virginia but doing his role as the backup there as we get a nice save on the other end from luke downs good to see him get on the board with his fourth save of the, the game yeah a good save by downs on the other end so he steps up and uh, keeps things where they're at at nine eight as now Towson will get it down the field and attempt another offensive here with 7.25 to go in quarter number two. And a big rush and a big hit on the other end by Virginia. Looks like we're gonna get a foul here. Yep, you see the flag down. And we'll see the, the specifics of that contact maybe, but 9-8 is the score, 7-17. 
There it is. <laughs> oh, man. Well-timed hit. But obviously, wow. again, you know, I think referees are trained as they lock that I mean, he came scorching in. Yeah. Usually, if, if, 20, you see, yards yeah, out. If, if you see a big run up like that, you know, re again, referees are just naturally going to grab for that, that flag, even though if the hit might not be high, but Towson again on the man up. See if they can get DeMeo or Weishauer free for a shot here. Trying to tie it up. Nine to eight is the score. Under seven minutes to go remaining in the first half. Over the center, a shot that's wide and to the right. I can't tell if Noon's got a piece of that or it hit a pipe. Yeah. But a good good look by Towson and a good stop by Virginia. And I'll try and get another chance here. 6.42 to go. And another <laughs> shot that makes it through. Towson ties it up. What a look by the grad senior, Nick DeMeo. Again, you know, don't label this guy just as a, as a shooter or a scorer. Right, sets his feet, little twister, skip pass there, down to the pipe. That's Joaquin Villa Gomez, the big 6'4", sophomore out of Severna Park. And he's a great goal scorer, great finisher around the crease. DeMeo with a slick assist. And Villa Gomez has been good this year, 14 points. He's got 10 goals and four assists on the year. The, the sophomore has been a, a good piece for this Towson team. Yeah, this, this the core group of Towson's offense is is really, really solid. Calling a couple of their games last year, you know, it was, it was a group of freshmen that, you know, you're going to go through some ups and downs with them. And then coming into this year, you hope that they continue to improve. They get that game experience. You've certainly seen it with Weissauer today. Villa Gomez is on the board now. Um, and then, you know, Roussel is, again, another guy who's come in. He has three assists today for them. So just a really solid output from this now sophomore class of Towson. 9-9 you know, nine, nine is the score, and it looks like we'll have another timeout here. 6-17 on the clock left to go in the first half. We'll be right back. game. Virginia and Towson are all tied up here in Towson now. And, uh, you know, we've, we've seen some real nice physical play. We've seen some scrappy goal scoring as well. And overall, it's a really fun game uh, with these two teams tied up here. Absolutely. We, yeah, we've seen it all. Um, the physicality is, is the style I think that both of these teams would like to be known for. Virginia, obviously, with their size and just like their physical presence. And then Towson just with that, that gritty mindset of, you know, their head coach, Sean Nattle. And so absolute battle going on. I think if you're Virginia, maybe you want to tame down some of those those hits, which is, is hard to tell your players. But, um, you know, there's that balance there between too physical and, and smart. As we see Towson come out of this timeout in the zone defense, try and disrupt some of uh, Virginia's flow. So Virginia will attempt to try and take the lead here. They've got about five and change to do it at the end of the first half. There's a flick into the X and a pass back out is now scrambling for the ball on the ground. And a couple jerseys to the floor and a whistle. Yeah, great ball movement by Virginia. I think they had an open cutter there on the crease, just couldn't connect on the feed, but Look for them to share the ball, right? If you're playing against the zone, you've got to step into gaps. They're going to get the ball through X to Schellenberger, have a couple cutters and let him do his thing back there. Let's see if they can capitalize here. Near side thought about it, and then the pass back out towards the top. They're going to sling it around, a move on the far side, back out, and back to X. 5-10 on the clock. Over the center, a shot falling away, and it missed wide. Again, this is this is kind of what a zone is designed to do. Just 
lull the offense to sleep a little bit. You know, sometimes when you're an offensive player playing against the zone, you forget to dodge. But we didn't see it there. There's another goal for Virginia as they capitalize and make it 10 to 9. As they will get back out in front by one, and that's sort of been the the, the method here today. Right? Things yeah, get tight. This is Jack Boyden, super slick transfer from Tufts University. He's got one of the six highlight reels this season, 2023. And his adjustment period to the Division One landscape has been very simple for him. He's been able to score and produce at a really quality rate. And he's just another kind of arrow in this quiver for the Virginia offense. 17 points now on the season for him. As we get a quick pass down the middle, that one is gonna be stopped and it goes out towards the corner. Ah, just a little too cute there from Virginia. I thought Mayer was just going to go again and take his own <laughs> shot, but um, couldn't quite see if that was Schellenberger or Millen at the point, but whoever it was, I think, should have taken that shot. You get that feed from that pole on that break. And a chance at, at another quick goal that would have extended their lead by a little bit. 10-9 to 9 is the score. Virginia out in front by one. 420 on the clock here uh, towards the end of the first half of play. So Towson, the home team, is going to try and tie it up on this possession. A rush towards the net from the near side. And this one's going to go the opposite direction. Holy speed. In transition, Virginia streaking down the field, trying to get around the edge towards the net. And they'll try and pass here and, and open themselves up for a good look. I love the way that, you know, I think young attackmen can learn so much from Schellenberger and and Millen, right? Virginia gets a turnover. Their defensive midfield unit comes down. They get the ball to the attack, and these guys are pressing and probing right away. They're looking to make plays. Obviously, might have been a little bit of a force there, as I think Towson tipped that, but just the way that they, they grab the ball and they attack their matchup, right? And it doesn't mean that they're always going to the goal, but they're just it just puts pressure on a defense instead of just jogging around and passing the ball in the perimeter. These guys are, are ready to attack and score at any moment. Thought about a big shot from the top, and instead the pass to the other side. Now trying to pick it up towards the center, man to the turf. And we got it near side. The flick across, and the shot. Oh, oh big save. Downs, able to get pipe to pipe there. Stiney, Virginia, as we'll time out, get to time out here. And that's what we've talked about, wanting to get these guys and having big saves and big moments. And that certainly does count for that. We'll go to break for the timeout. It's 10-9, to 9, Virginia out in front. We're back out of the timeout here with a couple minutes to go in the second quarter. John Kosaban alongside Marcus Holman here for the final couple minutes of the first half in a very close game between Towson and and Virginia, the Tigers and the Cavaliers uh, have been you know, pretty well matched so far and about to enter the final couple of minutes of the first half where both teams can kind of look to try and take momentum in their favor and run with it a little. Yeah, this is going to be a big possession here. We'll see if Towson kind of stays with that zone defense that they use the past possession or if they go back to man-to-man -to, -man to try and give another look to this Virginia offense. Looks like they're going to stick with that zone. Again, you can kind of you can kind of tell a zone defense if you look to the crease. You'll see a lot of guys just staring at the ball, right? So, as a as a defense a defensive unit, you want everybody to move together, flow together, and then on offense, you, you just don't want to stand around too much, right? You want to you still want to dodge attack matchups. You, you want to confuse the defense. So Virginia looking for a way in. Fighting around the edge and now a pass through X. Up top. 220 on the clock here towards the end of the second quarter and this is gonna be a turnover. Towson streaking down the field, racing forward. Just a little sloppy on both ends in these four on three fast breaks. We saw Virginia kind of Right, I mentioned Schellenberger maybe should have shot the one where he tried to hit Cormier and then 
a similar play there. Just a little sloppy with the mechanics, right? You know, again, I might sound a little old school in my ways here, but you know, you're sliding to your left and you're trying to throw a sidearm skip pass through the defense, right? Just make, make a higher percentage play, whether that's a shot or even just pulling the ball out to gain possession for your team. Nice ride here from Towson. Yeah, especially, you know, there is about 145 to go here on the clock and we'll get another run forward from Virginia here. Uh, but, you know, that could be a lot of time. As there's a hot shot from the top and a good save. Downs finally able to get the better of Ben Mayer. He's going for his hat trick in the first half with the long stick. Man, what a pace here as, as now Towson finally settles down. As we look at kind of the, the last potential possession here of, of the first half. Yeah, and you know, you, you don't have to rush. I mean, we, we saw at the end of the first quarter of playing, and both teams were able to score within the final 10 seconds. So, you know, you, you can afford to take your time here with a minute left and try and set up, like you say, a, a higher percentage shot. Yeah, I would like to see, I think Towson had some success with that invert look. So we'll see if they carry behind and kind of challenge Virginia to, to guard them behind the goal with the short stick. Hard stop on the far side, now towards the center. 10-9 is the score, about 40 seconds to go. A shot from the left, no good. Fighting for it now. Big save from Nunes there. As he gets the better of Weishauer for the first time today. Virginia might have numbers, they might push. Yep, they will streak down the field here. 20 or so seconds left on the clock at the end of the first half. Virginia with a chance to extend their lead. It's 10 to nine, they're up by one. Passing over the middle. Toward the near side, a hot shot and a big save again. Loop down with another one at the end standing, of the first half. Standing tall in net. And you're Doing a really nice time. job. Of Virginia kind of 10, eating up those hot shots with ease. As Towson gets a big stop. <laughs> down you know <laughs> exactly but yeah fired up this is going to be a dynamic exciting second half you know Towson's hung tough so far Virginia playing super well offensively and we're going to see wh whoever's defense I think it, it steps up here is, is going to be the team that takes home the win here yeah a very volatile scoring half in the first half as we get off to a quick start here Towson with possession and they will be the ones attempting to tie up this game. 10 to 9 is the score as we get underway here in the third quarter of play. Virginia out in front by one. And Towson at home uh, attempting to win their second straight. And uh, to do that, they're going to have to stick close to Virginia in this one. They've certainly done that so far. It's been so tight. And uh, like we've mentioned, it's been exciting, sort of high octane at times. And uh, we hope for more of that in the second half as we get underway here. Driving on the near side, falling down. Good defensive stand by Virginia, scrambling for the ball in the X. And now a chase into the corner all the way back deep. And that one's going to be kept out in front of the net as now Virginia takes possession and they will race forward with it. I love the referees letting the boys play there. Tough ground balls in the corner, right? That's what these teams are known for. Virginia's got numbers here if they want to push. And a big shot from the top, that's no good. I think that hit the crossbar there. That was Schellenberger in transition with the absolute hammer. Rebounded uh, far away as now Virginia uh, will attempt to reset here, slow things down. Bit of rain falling as well. Big save by Luke Downs, getting off to a hot start. And he made a couple of big saves too at the end of the first half of play as well. Ten nine score, Towson heading forward, long pass over the middle, staying alive. Down near 
other side and they'll get this one through the hatch. Thirteen minutes of play left here in this third quarter. Working on the near side out towards the middle. Racing towards the net with the left hand shot, upper right hand corner, it goes in. Big lefty bucket there from the senior Chop Gallagher. One of the best names in the country too, Chop. Chopping down that top right corner. Coming into this game, seven goals on the season. That's his first today after a couple shots. So again, if, if Towson can get production from those role players like, like Gallagher, you know, they're filling the stat sheet up and they're matching. They're going toe to toe with this vaunted Virginia offense. You know, if, if you've got a name like Chop Gallagher, you got to be able to have a shot like that. Like I said, just chopping straight down. And here's another big shot that's going to miss wide. Ooh, big opportunity in transition here. I like the way Towson's pushing off of these face-offs. I think that was 37, well. Elijah Smith, yeah, with that, with that shot. Yeah, especially because we've seen, you know, sort of uh, Virginia has had their scoring in bunches a few different times today. And... Uh, Towson can maybe attempt to do the same here if they want to uh, take the lead. Tied up at 10, 12 minutes to go. Three have passed here in the third quarter. Virginia ball coming up the near side. Racing forward towards the net. Defense coming to meet him as that one uh, gets back into the X. Yeah, got to give a shout out on the Virginia defensive midfield unit to Chase Yeager for his great on-ball defense that last possession. That leads to a goal. That is Virginia lacrosse. And a quick goal once again as they're able to muscle it through, and that puts them out in front by one more. 11 to 10. Right, Virginia's strategy, right, get stops on the defensive end, push. And set picks and let let their attack honestly play three on three or four on four. Gabriel the guys are subbing off the field. The face -off. I love that they have the green light to attack challenge matchups. And Schellenberger to Cormier. How many times have we heard that uh, over the past couple seasons? A lot. Certainly a classic with those two. And uh, Cormier now has two goals on the day as we join Schellenberger and Millen with two apiece. As the ball has been spread around so far for Virginia in this one. Up by one now. 11 to 10 is the score. And 11-15 to go here in quarter number three. And John, again, we, we add an assist to Schellenberger's yep. totals. There we go. Now closing in on the record, just three shy of Virginia's all-time assist record. So, it, you know, it certainly seems doable from this point. Got a, a lot of lacrosse to play. And, uh, he, you know, he's been dishing it around like he normally does. So we'll see uh, how much closer he can get to that number by the end of this one. 10.45 on the clock here in quarter number three. 11 to 10 is the score. Virginia out in front by one. They've got the ball right now trying to extend their lead. Important defensive possession for Towson here as well. As this one is getting chased around and it's going to be picked up by Towson. Great ground ball by Reese Potter, number 30. He's been a, a, a staple of this Towson defensive unit from that short stick position. Again, probably the unsung heroes of a lot of these teams. You know, we, we give a lot of the glory to the goal scorers and the great feeds and the no look passes, but it's really those glue guys in the middle of the field, the defensive middies that are getting it done. The best teams have the best D middies. There's no question about that. Yeah, it came at a good time to chase that one down. And, it, you know, what could have been what Virginia, that sort of possession, they've been using that to extend the lead a little bit. So a uh, good job on defense to change hands here and attempt to tie it up once more. A stop and start, the big shot, and an even bigger save. That might have got off the post as well. I think that was Nunes' best save of the day. And these are the plays here, these 50-50 ground balls, baby. 
looks like it's going to go back to Towson. Great hustle on the ride in the scramble situation. After Nunes' save, I think that was Nunes' maybe best of the day. That's the Mayo bearing down with his weak right hand, but still Nunes reacting nicely. And we know that DeMeo has been involved, certainly on offense. We talked about the four assists, but uh, still no goals yet for him. Uh, you think that's more of just the way that things have played out so far? You think it, it's good credit to the, the Virginia defense keeping him off the board? Yeah, and I, th I think that was his, maybe his first shot of the game or second shot of the game. So I think it's just growth for him as a player, right? If you're an attackman, you know, I, I would say don't pigeonhole yourself into doing one thing, right? You, you want to have a role on the team. His is obviously to, to make plays and score goals from that lefty position. But as you grow and your IQ improves, right, just being being able to make whatever plays the defense offers you. And he's been able to take advantage of some great feeds as we see a crease dive there from Towson. Got dirty on that one on, on the chance. And now it's Virginia taking it out as uh, the 11 to 10 score. Now up by one, 8.20 to go here in quarter number three, and they'll attempt to extend their lead. And I, I really like that that take there from Towson. Right, obviously, you know, you don't score and you give the ball back to Virginia because you're in the crease. But my thing with, with crease dives is usually there's three things that can happen, right? You don't score, just like what happened there. You do score, which is good for your team, or you get fouled, right? So two out of those three things are quality things for your team. And speaking of quality, another shot up close that lands, and Virginia will extend their lead. So they do just that on this possession, and it's 12 to 10. And who else? Connor Schellenberger winning this matchup of heavyweights against Colby Bars. Like Schellenberger's feeling it. Three goals now to go along with four assists. Filling up the stat sheet. Three for five shooting. This kid can do it all. He's going to be a household name for years to come. He already has been. Just an incredible player. And another ground ball by Ben Ware off the wing. Weyer has really been taking over the middle of this field and able to get his team in a good position to score on the other end. So he does it again there. And yeah, Schellenberg, I mean, he just had a, a great game. Three goals now, four assists, seven points today. And of course, that uh, milestone watch that we're going to be talking about as this one goes on. But, you know, it doesn't let that affect uh, his goal scoring as he leads the team right now. Seven fifteen to go. And quarter number three, 12-10 is the score. Virginia out in front by two. A rush on the top side towards the net. And this one's going to be scooped up. Downs able to cover that one and get it out to his man. Good save by Downs. Didn't love that possession from Virginia. I think, again, they're having the most success when, when they share the rock. Different guys get involved. I think you can pass up a, a shot like that for a better opportunity. I'm sure maybe that's what assistant coach Kevin Cassis is, is saying to McCabe Millen again. Those are kind of the things that you learn as you go along as, as a young player. Yeah, right. It's, it kind of uh, ties into that theme of, of developing as a player, right? You know, you're you're going to have those moments, and then the coaches are, are going to get to you on it and, and try and crack down on it as you move forward. And I think we're starting to see, again, this, this Towson defense settle in nicely. You, you know, they're knocking down some passes. They're getting their sticks up. You know, Nunes is, is settling down. And this is maybe what Virginia probably expected out of their defensive unit coming in is to, to apply a lot of that pressure, put the ball on the ground, and get quality stops. And now they're going to try and transition that into a score here, down by two. Still passing along the perimeter, 5.50 to go here in quarter number three. Near side, trying to get in close to the ground, and that one's going to roll all the way into the corner. So Virginia will take it forward and get across midfield. Up by two, it's 12 to 10. As the road team here trying to win their second straight, five and a half left on the clock in quarter number three. Now 
Now a race on the top side. Let's see if Virginia goes back to maybe some big little action with, with Schellenberger and a midfielder behind the cage. Or they're going to operate from these high wings. They love initiating with these high wing kind of picks to allow their Dodgers go either way. Rush Ooh. down the middle is that that one clangs away. And that's, again, it, this is why I think this unit's so fun to watch is because you have Schellenberger and ex attackman initiating the offense from up top. <laughs> and he's always looking for number 24, Cormier. You know that. Teams know it. Defenses know it. Coaches game plan, plan for it, and they're still able to find each other and connect. Cormier, a couple of goals today on 11 shots. Their connection is always good. And here's a turnaround shot that's going to miss high. Millen with the question mark. Just showing you kind of the, the tools he has in his bag. Now pass over the middle and then the strike that doesn't make it through. And a, and a nice save by Downs to not only stop that one from getting by, but to pick it up and make the pass. Yeah, both goalies, again, after that first quarter, are, are definitely settled in now, definitely. making plays. And, and honestly, being the goalies that they are, which is, you know, top 15 goalies in the country. So a 12-2 game, 3.55 on the clock here in quarter number three. Towson down by two here at home, trying to bite into the lead, pass over the middle, dropped, had to go chase it back around, and it stays in possession of Towson. And good defense by Virginia. Now this one is going to uh, bounce free. Who's going to pick it up? And Virginia ends up with it. Now in transition, we'll see what they can do on the quick here. Three and change to go. of net to chase it down and now it's all the way back into the corner this is that kind of helter skelter pace that looks a little chaotic but i think this is where virginia thrives because they have so many playmakers just that are not only athletic but they're also just really smart lacrosse players yeah a lot of guys who can adjust on the fly and sort of get creative there is that one up close gets through and into the back of the net just too good Cormier with the Cormier goal, again. That should be his third one. goal of the Bruce day, and it's 13-10, Virginia. 10, Virginia. Tigers 10. <laughs> and it's like, okay, if you stop Schellenberger to Cormier, now we have Millen to Cormier. You see Millen explode off that razor-style pick, sweeping to his top hand. Cormier just floating inside, finding space. And if he catches it in Romeo there, and it's going in. A lot of the time. Again, Virginia's all-time leading goal scorer in a history, a storied program with some of the best lacrosse players of all time. Cormier stands alone at the top. Three goals on 12 shots today. And, you know, a guy like that, he's just going to keep taking those shots, and eventually they'll fall, right? He started the game, I think it was seven or eight shots without a goal scored. Uh, but now here, he's been a lot more efficient in his last couple of opportunities, starting to break through. That's what the, the best shooters do, right? You know, if, if your first couple don't go in, you stay confident, um, you trust trust the process, you trust your fundamentals, and you trust that your teammates around you will continue to throw the ball inside. Towson trying to make it up now, down by three. And this one is going to be scooped up by Virginia. Oh uh, my another goodness. chance in Incredible. transition. Racing forward, and that one goes through. A laser shot to the back of the net. And Virginia extends the lead even further. Wahoos are rolling. This is Virginia lacrosse, swarming defense, putting the ball on the ground, overhead flip into space. Let your teammate run underneath of it. And then we go hit the point, one more up the hash bucket. McCabe Millen hey, Tiger fans, closes off an awesome sequence for Virginia. No one does. Great score Stand as they extend the lead. It's 14-10. Back out of the timeout here in the third quarter of play. John Kosaban alongside Marcus Holman here. And the, today's Lacrosse TV presentation. 4-2 and two, Towson hosting the 4-1 and one ranked Virginia Cavaliers at Johnny United Stadium in Towson, Maryland. 
And, uh, you know, it's been a close game pretty much this entire time. But uh, as of late, last couple of minutes, Virginia has started to get a little bit more space on the board. It's 14 to 10. Yeah, and I think as we came out of halftime, right, John, we spoke about whichever defense really clamps down and starts getting stops consistently is going to be the team that pulls away, and that's been Virginia. Obviously, they have the the gunslingers on the offensive end capitalizing, but it's been their defense putting the ball on the ground. Noon's making a couple saves here, and that physicality and and length of this Virginia defense is, is I think, starting to wear on Towson a little bit as we enter the late third quarter, quarter here. Yeah, Nunes has certainly stepped up since the first quarter. He's up to a 47 save percentage here today. And, you know, like we've been highlighting, you know, especially in the past couple of minutes, it's really been Virginia's ability to to break up the offensive on Towson's side and then quickly in transition get down to the other end of the field and cash in. And that's what they've been doing. And that's how they're up by four as we uh, look to get through with the final two minutes here of the third quarter. Face off, which way will it go? As they scramble for it, and it looks like it will be Virginia's ball. One forty-five on the clock here towards the end of the third quarter of play. 14 to 10 lead for the visiting Cavaliers. Yep, and just keep doing what you're doing if you're Virginia. Every possession has been quality, starting with those picks. Oh, and now lost Virginia. that one. Moving pick. <laughs> Got to have those feet set. As now it'll be Towson's chance to uh, battle back here. And, you know, as they look to enter the, the final quarter of play with about a minute and 15 to go here, now, it would do wonders for them to, at the very least, keep Virginia off the board for the rest of this quarter. But also, if you can sneak in a goal before the end of this one, it'll help that momentum heading into the final quarter. Yeah, this is huge. Huge possession here for Towson. Maybe go back to that invert, try to find some cutters. Dodging these big athletic long poles for Virginia is a tough task. And that one missed wide off to the right. I think that was Villa Gomez. If there's anyone on, on Towson's offense that can match up physically, it's him standing at about 6'4", 200 pounds. And a half minute to go here in quarter number three. Big scramble for the ball on the other end. And Virginia comes up with it. John, it's, a, it's such a small thing, but Virginia puts that ball on the ground with their defensive unit. And if you took a, if you froze the picture of when the ball's on the ground, there's five Virginia players just compared to two Towson players, right? So they swarm ground balls, I think, better than any other team in the country. And it pays off as they get more possessions to this incredibly talented offense as Cormier buries the biggest goal of the game so far for Virginia. And in the final five seconds of the third quarter, and you know, these teams have been no stranger to that today, able to get something into the back of the net with a nice move and then a really quick shot right in front and that's going to extend the virginia lead and who else on the assist Gabriel and Constantine. so that's the sixth assist of the day for schellenberger and that's going to tie him in the all-time program record for career assists 159 tied with tim whiteley so his next assist will get him sole possession of uh, that milestone. And another <laughs> shot no comes in at the end of the third quarter. Two seconds left on the clock, and they find the back of the net again. Cormier is on fire. Let the boys cook. Anything he catches right now, he is burying in the back of the net, including this 40-yard pass at the end of the quarter. He's and feeling it. And that's exactly what is going to get the team pumped up as uh, they wait for the final couple of seconds to tick off the clock here in quarter number three as their lead has been extended. It's 16 to 10 as Cormier catches in again. He's got five goals now. And as we end this third quarter of play, 16-10 is the score. 
The Autism Studies PhD program is one of Towson University's newest doctoral programs. And we're back here on Lacrosse TV for the start of the final quarter of play. John Kosaban alongside Marcus Holman here for you as Virginia, the visitors here today, are up by six. They've got a 16-10 to 10 lead heading into the final quarter as the home team Tigers have done a good job of sticking close with them pretty much the entire game. But towards the end of that third quarter, uh, Virginia was really able to pull away, including a couple of nice goals by Cormier. And they've got a six-goal lead as we get things started. Yeah, just a barrage in the in the third quarter. Like, I think if you, again, probably one of the best quarters I imagine Virginia's played all spring, just getting it done on both ends of the field, six to one in the quarter, capped off with two incredible goals by Peyton Cormier. And it came at the perfect time, really. You know, that, that third quarter, it ends up, uh, being really nice for them that they can get this space instead of having to enter the fourth quarter you know, either tied or, or up or down by one or two, which has been the case all day. So a little bit of a change of pace for them as they're able to get some cushion here entering the final quarter. Yep, Towson's got to get back to it. weissauer has got to get back involved, whether that's dodging, getting pick set for him. And here's a slingshot from the near side that was high velocity and went all the way out the back after the save. Thought about a big shot, now moving back in with the left, that missed. Uh, but good to see Towson sort of take a couple of shots here and it, and just after the first minute of this fourth quarter. Yeah, a couple good looks at it. But again, you're gonna, gonna have to make some big time plays here to get back in this game. And again, as, as Noons kind of creeps up towards that 50% mark, Virginia's defense looking really strong here in the second half. See them you know, attempt to continue that trend. And uh, if you're Towson, Marcus, what do you think is the, the number one priority for them moving forward? You know, does the urgency set in at the top of this fourth quarter, or do you wait a little bit for that and try and get the process through? But that's going to have to wait just a second because Virginia <laughs> fires another one in the back of the net, and that's going to make it just a little bit harder. It's 17 to 10. Well, I was going to say, the first thing you got to do is guard that guy. Now, right? 17, 24, 10, 13, 14, 14, the last three times he's touched the ball, it's been in the net. He's on fire. He's just it, it's not in a position right now where you can really slide off of him. And that makes it, you know, it's easier said than done, right? Teams are like, why would you slide off of the best goal scorer in Virginia's history? It's, it's, it's hard. There's so many moving parts when you guard an offense like Virginia's. And they're doing a nice job. You've got to feed the hot hand. That's what I love about lacrosse. It's such a momentum flowy sport. I think Virginia all knows Cormier's feeling it right now, and they're going to keep <laughs> keep feeding yeah. the beast. They got numbers here. Let's see what they can do with it on the advantage as that one gets passed. And yeah, Cormier now has six goals on the day out of 15 shots. 15 shots. Absolutely love it. If you're a shooter, let him fly. And it, you know, it just makes it this entire time he's been so efficient on this last couple run of shots because, you know, as we mentioned earlier, I mean, he had one goal in eight or nine before and now six on 15, that's good for the percentage. Nice flow there early from Virginia to get this hung up situation. This is Millen. Let's see if he ISOs, maybe he uses a pick. Yep, gets the switch. Tries to curl around the edge, gets the pass off over the middle, and another pretty. one through. Super pretty lacrosse by Virginia. With the Virginia I think that's Sunderland finish. Great flow, great ball movement, sharing the rock, and then finishing on the doorstep. Drawn up really well, great uh, chemistry here on display, and another goal makes it 18 10. And that's Cormier with an assist, too. He says he's just a goal scorer. Big man can pass as well. Just a super high IQ lacrosse player. The double, double team is drawn. You get the ball. The first place you should look is inside to the crease. Great team offense. That's eight points on the day for Cormier. He's got six goals and two assists. And he has really taken over in this second half. 
Now Virginia with the ball again. Uh, trying to see what else they can do to potentially extend this lead. 12 minutes to go in the fourth quarter as, as a three have passed. Now a jump shot. And that missed wide right. Virginia is still with possession. Schellenberger on the near side looking to get it to someone. He does get a pass off underneath that <laughs> shot. Through, and I that mean, is a goal. 19 to 10. And there it is. Now, no other way he'd rather have it, I think, if you're Connor Schellenberger to have the record-breaking all-time leader in assist in University of Virginia lacrosse history and to his wingman Peyton Cormier who absolutely buries the rock. Congrats to Connor in a storied, storied program like Virginia with incredible ex-attackman Steel Stanwick. You know, Tim Whiteley whose record he broke. Connor Gill, Schellenberger now stands alone at the top. And it's something record. that we pointed out at the top of the broadcast that it would be something to look for as the Matt quick time to draw. And that goal presented by West Central by all the counts by Uh, a little bit closer for him, but, you know, this recent stretch that Virginia has been on has uh, really allowed them to take over the game and uh, punctuated by that assist number seven by Schellenberger. So he's got 160 in his career, and he holds the program record. Like you mentioned, Tim Whiteley's previous record of 159 has been broken, and Schellenberger with seven assists today gets himself uh, into the scorebooks. And again, he's, he's just such a dynamic player, Connor is, right? If you take away his feeding ability, he can beat you one-on-one. -on -one. He's got a great outside shot with his strong right hand. And then obviously his vision and IQ is top notch. And then for Towson to come back with a very quick answer goal, that was Constantinitis. We've got 10.45 to go left in this one. That shot it really looks like it did. Another one from Towson. Dylan Gomez gets involved. The second of the day again. Right? We talked about his physical nature as a, as a big dodger using that frame. Again, he just kind of sticks out when, when those guys huddle up together for Towson. You can see he's, he's shoulders above the rest of that unit. Bright future ahead and a really solid season so far for the sophomore. It's goal number 12 for him on the year. And he makes it a seven goal game as Virginia still has a big lead here with about 10.40 to go in quarter number four. Now, Towson's got possession here as the Tigers at home down by seven will try and continue uh, to bite into that deficit. As they picked up two pretty recently and look to continue that here with uh, things getting a little bit more pressing for them entering the final 10 minutes. Yep, one possession at a time. Obviously you, you can't score seven goals in one possession. Just got to keep flowing, sharing the rock, and then capitalizing when you get your shooting opportunities. Gearing up for a big shot instead. We'll pass it off. Now down the middle, a sidearm sling, and a big save in goal. Nice save by Nunes. Not sure that you need that outlet pass, though, that ends up in a turnover. Trying to get down the field on the other end. And that'll be Virginia's ball. I think they got Towson for a push there in that loose ball. 
situation. So lucky break for Nunes after a great save. Maybe not the best outlet decision, but Virginia retains possession. They'll probably use most of this clock, continue to share the rock. And again, with the shot clock now, there is no stalling. So if Virginia keeps pushing, they might, they might get up to 25 today. We'll see what they can do on this possession. Already up by seven. The spin, another misdirection. The shot from left, no good. Millen continuing to probe on those kind of 1v1 ISO dodges. Millen, three goals today and an assist for the freshman. Pass out in front, quick shot. Scrambling for the ball in front of the net. And it's going to be picked up in goal by Downs. Keep him off the board there as we've got about eight. 45 to go in quarter number four. Still fighting for possession here at midfield. Everyone rushing over to the sidelines there, collapsing in on that ball. Seven goal lead for Virginia on the road here. Carrying a top five and six ranking uh, into this one, looking for a victory with 8.17 on the clock, ready to go in the fourth quarter of play. But Towson, not if they have anything to say about it, going forward, trying to find the spot in. Down by seven at home. Trying to get it close. And this one's going to be ch chased down as Nunes goes to get it. Great. Again, just the word that comes to mind when I think about this Virginia defense in the second half, it's swarm. Right? They're sending a couple guys on the double teams to the ball carriers. Nunes has gotten involved coming out of the cage. It's just relentless when that ball is on the ground. And they do it, they really do a good job of feeling like they're all over the field too, because yeah, they can swarm and pick up ground balls on defense, and they're also able to turn it into a good transition goals on the other end. So it's not like they're uh, losing too many the cavalry on the other side. I mean, they're, they're able to appear as if they're all over the field. Exactly. 7.15 to go here in the final quarter of play. It's a seven goal game, 19-12 is the score. And Virginia here being just a little slow here to try and get on offense. Spending a little time. They'll still get their shot opportunities near side. And it's batted away, and it's chased down. Towson now is going to be able to bring it across midfield. So a turnover as they will go on offense. Six forty to play in quarter number four. A rush on the far side. Now into X. Yeah, and again, this Towson offense kind of going a little cold in this in the second half, and Weishauer's kind of been quieted. I don't think he's yeah. really had too many shots. Nice save by Noons there. Really good save by Noons in goal. Yeah, I mean, Weishauer in the first half was four of five. Four goals on five shots, and he's taken just one shot since then. And is now a fall down near the net as this one gets chased all the way out the net. <laughs> Nunes is an animal right now, coming out of the cage. He's not let that penalty from earlier slow him down. Getting involved on some hits. That was really well timed. And again, I think you only see plays like that be made with really high IQ and experienced goaltenders, knowing how the flow of the game is going, knowing where guys are open on the pipes, making a play like that. Virginia, though, fails to clear. You've really got to have a sense for that sort of thing. You know, it's not really a, it's not so much the math of, of everything going on, but really feeling how the flow of the game is going. And like you said, it takes a, that probably separates the great goalkeepers from the good ones. Yeah, well, I think they're the seventh defenseman, right? You know, with them, you have an extra guy. So loose balls around the crease, 
you know, obviously your number one job is to stop the ball and get it out of your zone, right? But if you can impact the game where you can pick up an extra ground ball or two or three, if you can maybe win a run out to the end line at a timely opportunity, those are all impactful events that goalies can make to kind of take over and, and dominate a game per se. Another big hit by Noons, holy. Big hit in front of the net as noon stays physical out there. And I think, the, did the Mayo put this in? He might have been able to sneak it past. They, they do call goal on the field, and somehow he's able to sneak that one through despite the hit from Moons out in front of the net. After getting stymied on that last possession, DeMeo hanging tough, puts in his first goal of the afternoon. Probably the toughest way possible. Yeah. Just with kind of like a hockey shot into the empty net. And they, they really made him earn that uh, first goal of the game. As he's somehow able to twist that one through into the net, taking that big shot. So it's 19-13. to 13. That's the score. It's a six-goal game. Virginia out in front on the road here is about four and a half minutes to go in the fourth quarter. And Towson down by six. I, you know, I've been able to get a couple of goals across in this quarter, but... No, really, it's just been the Virginia's ball game in the entire second half. Okay. But maybe Towson about to change that. Yeah, they're quite sour. Quite sour. Get back on the whistle. Give and go there with the Mayo. Right, the one-two combo that Towson fans love. Just a, just a super crafty goal there from the sophomore. Good to see him step up. I, I wish maybe it could have come a little bit earlier in the quarter, but Towson not out of this. No crazy things have happened. And you know, we, we've mentioned the announcer jinx a few times today. He kind of worked in the reverse there. He mentioned <laughs> recently how Weissauer had sort of quieted down. He must have heard us up there. Now Virginia racing down and a big shot straight down the middle that was denied. Quite sure you really want that shot. I'm sure Coach Tiffany on yeah. the sideline is shaking his head. Towson's got numbers. And a big shot goes wide, and that'll bounce all the way towards the back. Yeah, I mean, you know, if you're Virginia, you kind of want a longer possession there to kind of take away some of the Towson momentum. And, you know, if you're taking a shot like that early and that big, you know, you've got to be sure to, that you're able to get it past them. Yeah, and I think if there's one team that has a longer leash, for transition opportunities. Yeah. It's definitely Virginia, but I'm sure the coaches are kind of getting after the faceoff guy after that shot, but Nunes is able to bail him out. I'm sorry, Kyle Morris, my guy, coming into the game and making a big save for Virginia. Right, so they've got Kyle Morris back out there. I saw him for a little bit earlier in the game in the first half, yeah, but there he is in goal with this five-goal lead. 3.30 to go here in the fourth quarter of play. Virginia's got the ball once again, trying to get to 20 on the day. And it might be well served to do that with the, you know, the amount that Towson has been able to get through uh, back to the back of the net in the last couple of minutes, making it a five-point game. Yeah, it's, again, you use the clock here. You're probably not going to get a double team or heavy pressure from Towson, but use the clock. You know, if you have a shot, great. If not, you're, you're okay to run this clock down, dump the ball in the corner, and yeah, play defense. Chased around in the corner as Townsend trying to step up defensively. 2.45 on the clock here in the fourth quarter of play. On the near side, moving right. Switching and spinning back around. Now gets the ball off. And there's the dump into the corner. Virginia content to just use that full 80 seconds on the shot clock now. One more stop. And this game will be all wrapped up for the Wahoos. A five goal game, 19-14 is the score. And about two minutes and change to go here in the fourth quarter. Overall, I mean, you know, this game was really uh, tight throughout the pretty much the entire way. I mean, Towson played up really well to Virginia in this game at home and you know, made things really interesting and continued to do so with their fourth quarter goals. And uh, But it was really Virginia's big third quarter in this one that made the difference. 
Yeah, the, the third quarter, and I think just locking in defensively. They, they've been much sharper. Holy play has been better as you see Morris grab another save. So Morris once again uh, contributing in goal here. Final minute and 30 to go in the fourth quarter. As Virginia looks to close out and get their fifth win of the season. And they definitely had to earn it, you know. They, we knew coming in, again, that this, this offense can score goals. They can put up 17, 18, 19, 20 goals against some of the toughest defenses in, in the country. But early on in that first half, you're, you're, you're curious about if Virginia's defense can match that ability of their offense. And they definitely did in this in the second half. Final minutes ago in quarter number four. 19 to 14 is the score. It's a five point game. Towson with the ball. And they love to maybe put another one up on the scoreboard before the end of this one as we've got about 45 seconds to go. Moving in from the near side. The pass out in front, dropped. And it stays in possession of Towson. Shot from the left and that missed. Took a big swing and had that one miss wide of the net. And there's 34 seconds to go. Timeout for Virginia. So it looks like we're So less than a minute to go here as the clock gets started again after the timeout. And about 30 seconds left, 19 to 14 is the score. And Virginia out in front by five. And getting ready to close this one out and uh, trying to advance here to uh, five and one on the season. Towson still trying to get a final goal through. Falling down near the net. Chop Gallagher on the finish. It's DeMeo on another one of these really pretty kind of no look feeds to the crease. Tap, Gallagher takes a hit. He'll add one to the stat sheet. DeMeo adds another assist. This is the end. Moreno. And I, you know, if, if you're a Towson fan, it's like you put up 15 goals against, yeah. you know, a, a team that is, is a legitimate national championship contender. Your offense looked really good at times today. Defensively, a tough matchup, but you've got to be proud of the effort, right? And I think that's a staple of this team, and, and this, this will bode well for them as they move into conference play. Right? Yeah, they're going to face Drexel in their next matchup, and they certainly have looked good. And your final score for today's game, Virginia 19, Virginia 19 or 15. To wrap things up.